Let's explore and look at a great resource for teachers to have interactive classrooms and some that have already been created for you. So we're going to explore Nearpod. Nearpod helps you create interactive lessons and there's gamified learning and formative assessments built in. And it's completely free for teachers. So what you do is you click the link and you can sign up for free. You can choose your role and you can sign up with anything here. I'm going to sign up with my Google. And then you just agree that you're over 13. And then you can tell us a little bit more about yourself. What subjects do you teach? I would say English language arts. Which grades? You can select more than one. Let's just start for now. I'll just say K through three. Okay. And then what is your primary role? Are you a teacher, educator? Yes. Okay, now it's time to get started. They have over 15,000 lessons already ready to use. If you wanna learn more about it, you can play the demo, explore the resources, build and create your own classes, and then launch a lesson to engage. So let's explore the library. I wanna teach letter A in phonics. I click letter A and here we go. These are all lessons done about your letter A. And you can first check to see if this is something you might like. Let's open this one. And you preview. And there's a video about letter A. It's an interactive video, it seems. And let's just go through it. Let's Okay, what do you already know about letter A? And the students can tell you. And then they will pick here, multiple choice. The letter A is the blank letter of the alphabet. And then they can choose it in the interactive mode. Okay, so that's a video. I want to get to the end of the video. And is there anything else there? No, that's just teaching it. It's a video. Okay, so let's go and you can choose. I, I don't think that one would be relevant. I want to choose a different resource. I will try letter A again. Sorry, I'm going to be in their library. Okay, the letter A sounds, and up oh, here we go. That was the one we just did. That's writing letter A, introduction to letter A. And the good thing here is that you're able to preview all of your lessons. If you choose, you want to do that one, you can do it. If you don't want to do it, you do not have to do it. Um, and then you just open it up. And there's teachers, resources, and guidelines. There's a web page. What does the letter A look and sound like? And then identifying, they tell you what your objectives are. Let's get started. What words start with letter A? And then you can have the kids on the board. They can take the pens and they can draw. They can choose their color. And then they can Draw letter A. It's very easy for them to do that. Okay, let's add this one to my lessons. I like this one. Okay, and then we go into my nearpod. You've had your first lesson, so let's teach it. Start your lesson.
student paced or live participation. I would always do it at student paced. This lesson has a collaborative board. Okay. Continue. Now the students can play with this lesson. Uh, let's take the link, copy the link, and let's pretend I'm the student. This is what the lesson will look like for us. And there was a code, F-L-W-M-X, it's already there. Join your lesson. And let's see, that's the teacher's guide. It came up from online. What does letter A look like? Now you see it's full and it's, let's get started. And right here, your students can write on the board. You can take a picture of it, upload the picture. You can share it with the parents. And then let's look and learn more about letter A. It looks like there's some kind of maybe a video coming up. I'm not sure. It is. And that's Jack Hartman. He's awesome. And then here, draw a picture with letter A. And today's lesson, you're going to be learning about letter A. And then let's look here. We have letter A, apple, alligator, axe and astronaut oh that's really funny there's, <laughs> there's not many letter a's that we can choose from and let's dig deeper with your finger sky right oh my god they're just giving you everything to do and then which is the uppercase and which is the lower think of pair share think of can you think of things that start with letter a in this picture Oh, practicing letter A. Let's try it on our own using letter A. So this is absolutely amazing. Circle letter A. So circle things that begin with letter A. Draw letter A. Let's see what we've learned. And then they have a quiz. Three question quiz. Which letter is lowercase a? And then they would take it. Which word starts with letter A? Answer. Oops, sorry. I gotta submit it. Submit. Oh my god, I submitted without finishing. Oopsie. I got two. <laughs> so even we can make that wrong. <laughs> okay. So, which one is the uppercase A? Oh, the question just changed before it was lowercase. Okay, which is lowercase, yes, oh, did I miss the first one, uppercase, next, lowercase, next, and submit. Now I did all three of them. Okay, and it tells you right away if you're right or wrong. So this is actually really a great, highly recommend this one. <laughs> 